right here we're going to demonstrate how to do a horizontal back extension. Now, if you don't have this machine, you can use a 45 degree back extension. The difference is when you do it on the flat, because you have more tension right at the top of the movement, it works more the lower back and glutes. If you're doing it on a 45 degree angle, it works a bit more on the hamstrings, a bit less of the lower back and glutes, okay? So if you have this one, do this one, otherwise do the 45. Now, when I do this movement, I prefer to use a bar across the back because what that does is push the person's chest and shoulders back and gives them better alignment. If you have something to the front of you, like your arms or a weight, people tend to round their upper back and that tends to shift the tension off the hamstrings um, and loads up too much in the lower back. Now, when you set the machine up, make sure your hip is at the edge of the pad. Okay, grab the bar. So, initially I just start with an empty bar of broomstick and as you get stronger with the movement, you can start adding more weight. So he's going to put it across his upper back. So this is a called a low bar placement. He's going to go as far down as he can, getting a complete stretch. He's going to initiate the movement by contracting the hamstrings. So contract the hamstring, come up, and that's as high as he's going to go. He's not going to hyperextend and come all the way here and hyperextend his back. He's going to go just parallel to the ground and back down. Okay, notice the engagement in his glutes and in his hamstrings come down. The lower back will remain braced, so he's not actually flexing in the lower back. The lower back is isometrically contracting, come back up, and the prime movers are the glutes and hamstrings. That's how you perform this movement. 